I'm Tara with Where's the Buzz. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So, how does it feel to be playing a new Transformer, a new Earthborn Transformer Twitch? What is what is that feeling? How are you feeling right now? Uh, I mean, it's super exciting. I feel extremely blessed. I love that there's this new character who's super fun. Um, she loves being a Transformer. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, I can't believe that I get to embody this brand new character. I can't wait for everybody else to see it, too. Now, did you um, maybe study other Transformers to help you embody this character? Or what was your process in creating this version of a Transformer Twitch? I mean, I was pretty well versed with, like, the Transformers universe. Um, but I really did want to bring, like, because it was a brand new character, I kind of wanted to bring a brand new, you know, take on the whole thing. So, really, I mean, the, in terms of preparation, the, 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 the character's so well written. Uh, it was all on paper. It was there, like, what I needed. And she's so full of energy. And so I really tried to bring, you know, whatever I had that related back to Twitch, her joy, her excitement to be this new robot. I tried to, you know bring that outside of me to, to, to infuse into her. Yeah, now were you always a fan of the Transformers um, franchise? Like, what was your favorite Transformer movie? Oh, uh, that original first Transformers movie, The Shia LaBeouf, that was one of my favorites. I did start watching Transformers at a very young age, um, the cartoon, like back in the 80s. Uh, so I had like a very, you know, I, I, I came into this world sort of like knowing, knowing this franchise. So it was like very surreal for me to now be a Transformers robot. I still can't really believe it. Now, what do you think is going to stand out about this new series compared to all, to all of the others? Oh yeah, this series is amazing because there's, uh, you know, what the underlying theme of all this is like family and love and and chosen family, um, and I think people are gonna really relate to that side of it. You know, like the struggle of of being uh, a teenager or like a preteen and trying to come into that while still trying to be who you are and and you know getting into disagreements with your parents about growing up, and I think. That's what I love about the show is that at the heart it is very much about love and family. Yeah. So and also the animation looks amazing. So yes. I'm really excited about that. I love that. Now a lot of people have told me that you guys actually started, you know, recording and taping for this during COVID. Yeah. So what was that like, you know, working behind the scenes and not meeting your castmates until now? I mean it's great. Yeah, I just met Sydney just today. That was yeah. crazy. Um but we did they were very conscious about having us all do group records so while we weren't in person but we were all on zoom so there was like whatever it was like 20 people on zoom together so we got to see each other and feed off each other's energy while we were recording which really helped so um, that was great uh, we, we definitely started off with that energy but I'm so happy to be actually meeting them in person today I love that now my last question everyone has been saying I'm gonna let you choose are you a Autobot or are you a Decepticon Ooh. Depends on the day. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great answer. Everyone's like, you know, the villain is always the most exciting. And I'm like, guys, wait, what, what about the Autobots? What about them? I love the Autobots. The Decepticon comes out every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. And I look forward to, you know, watching the series.